We're way out wide from the southern tip of Groot Island and the billfish are on the boil. I'm competing in the Groot Island Game Fishing Tournament with Chris and Michael. We've tagged one marlin so far. And looks like that's just the beginning. Oh, that's it. This little black beauty's taking me right around the boat. It's alright, right, right, right. Under the boat. Under the boat. Stop. I've had no time to put on the gimbal, so my arms are just about giving out. Fish. Chris, Chris. Chris, Chris, tag him, Chris, tag him, Chris. Tag him. No. She pulled the hook just as Chris tried to tag her. Oh well, at least we got a good look at her. Luckily Michael spotted some beautiful curves on the sounder. This is a Lawrence LCX 112 ET, he's got, a, got those in his boats up here. And if we have a look on the screen, right there, that's a marlin. People quite often ask, what's a marlin look like on the sounder? Well it's really just a bunch of red pixels and the sounder's doing a great job there. It's about 20 metres down, we're in 40 metres of water. So what we'll do is keep coming across, see if we can't raise that fish up and get a bite. Geski's turn and he's smart enough to build up early in the battle. Yeah. Keep going forward, go forward, left hand down, forward. Well there he is, ET. Yeah mate, looks pretty good. <laughs> tag well, in the shoulder. Tag in, eh? Keep tagging. Tag in, well done mate. Thanks, well done brother. champ, good, good, good on you mate, well done, thank you. That's a nice fish, eh? He's about 35 kilos. Black marlin grow really quickly when they're young. So he's probably only a couple of years yeah, old. Woo, he's still pretty good. <laughs> oh, yeah. hey, that's a go. Number two, well done. <laughs> that's how easy it is. Well done, thanks Chris. Good job, uh, mate. Good and these are the uh, important thing in the equation. You've got to tag the fish. So what we try to do is tag the fish up in the shoulder and uh, the tag simply goes on and that'll insert inside the fish. And when the fish is caught again, well, these tags need to be sent back. We actually write in what weight the fish was, where it was caught, and so fisheries can find out how far it's travelled and the growth rate of that fish over that period of time. And it's not just for billfish. You can tag all sorts start. of species from barramundi to the humble flathead. Tagging gives scientists a great chance to study the behaviour of fish in their natural habitat. Well, we've been able to answer a whole lot of questions through the tagging program that really haven't been able to be answered any other way. The, the two most important pieces of information are movement and growth. Uh, but beyond that, you can look at things like stock structure, mixed in with uh, information about genetics. You can look at a whole range of things about fish populations. We can get a lot of information about size structure as well. Aussie recreational anglers have been tagging fish for decades. So scientists have tracked the growth and movement of some species over many years and they've recorded some incredible journeys. In your game fish species we get things like marlin and, and uh, tunas travelling across oceans but at the local level here even when you look at estuary fish, a fish like the flathead which you'd say oh it really doesn't move around a lot 450 kilometres is the maximum distance we've had an individual flathead move. <laughs> The great thing is, any recreational fisher can get involved with tagging research just by contacting your local fisheries. Well, here at the Groot Island Game Fishing Comp, our next tag's prepped and ready to go. Let's hope we get to use it.